All right, uh, welcome to the Tableau video on how to add a button to a dashboard. Um, so this dashboard has already been created. Um, if you want to create this dashboard, I'll throw a link into how to create. Uh, this is an action-oriented dashboard um, on sales data using the sample store superset. Um, so you can kind of filter using actions uh, by state and then down to the scatter plot level. And then you can click here and get all the products associated with someone's name. And that takes you to uh, this product bar graph. And you can click here and actually uh, search Google for whatever product this is. So this corresponds to the Logitech speaker system. Um, and this one would correspond to the Jackery bar um, so you can say, what is that? And then you can go look at it on Google without really ever leaving your dashboard. So if you want to build this, go ahead and check out the action-oriented URL um, in the comments or the description section. But basically, I'm just going to add a button here because I want to um, go back to the dashboard one because I don't want to scroll all the way down here um, and click dashboard one. Um, I just want to click a button that says dashboard one, um, back to dashboard one or something like that. Um, so it's easily accessible. So basically all I'm going to do is go down to this objects um, little pane. I'm going to drag button up here and it's going to be huge. Um, don't worry about that. Click this little down arrow and click floating. And then the button becomes a little uh, smaller. And you can put the button wherever you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here. Um, in practice, I'd probably you know, try to make this a little smaller. And let's see if I can get this up here. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here. Um, then you go to, again, the functionality of the button. I just want to press the button and go back to dashboard one. So you go click this little down arrow, um, edit button. Then you go to navigate to. Right now it's not doing anything because it's selected to none. So I'm going to select it back to dashboard one. Now if you wanted to go back to your actual visualizations you made, these are the visualizations down here that uh, comprise the dashboard. So you can do that if you want to. Um, so you can go, but I'm just going to select dashboard one. Um, the button, this little gray area with the arrow is an actual image just that Tableau uploads. Um, you can choose your own image if you want to. So if you want to make a custom button, um, you can select choose image and then upload your own. Um, I'm going to just make a text button and I'm going to do kind of an arrow that says back, something like that. Uh, you can change the font and the color of your button as well. So I'm just going to choose this color, maybe make it a little bit bigger, maybe make it bold. Um, if you want to give it a border, so maybe just black border and then apply. You can insert some optional text as well. So now it looks like that. Um, if you don't like the way that looks, then you can change it. Um, so now it has the functionality, but unfortunately you can't really work with it without making your dashboard full screen, which you should probably do anyway. Um, so what you need to do is go up here to presentation mode. So when you're actually presenting, first I'm going to um, well, this is fine. So basically you would present to your boss. Um, what you'd really want to do is kind of make this floating. So this um, area is kind of your, yeah. So you can see the whole thing. Um, then you got a presentation mode um, and then you would click back and then that goes back to your uh, first dashboard. So if you want to get kind of the full effect, 
um, click out of all this and you say, hey boss, you know, here's the gear. Um, we can select Washington um, sales and then you go down to this uh, scatter plot that says sales and profit. Um, hey, what's this, you know, this customer is not doing so well. What's going on here? It looks like it's Mas Matthew Grinstein in the West um, in the home office. Uh, so clicked here. Looks like Matthew Grinstein, again, uh, it's a little above the margin, but I want to see what products Matthew is looking for or is purchasing. So you click here and you say, oh, this is the uh, Cisco Unified IP, uh, VOIP VoIP phone, which is doing pretty well. But you see this red button. I don't really know what product that is. Jawbone Mini Wireless Bluetooth Speaker. Uh, this uh, little, you know, profit margin isn't doing that well. Then you kind of see a picture and you're like, okay, I don't really want to deal with this anymore. I'm going to go back and here you are. Okay, so that's how you add a back button. Um, you can add more buttons to a dashboard if you wanted to create something like tabs in your dashboard. So you can create like home, like kind of like a web page. And you would just go back here, go to floating, and then you kind of add them as you go back, as you go along. Um, again, you can leave these not floating, but they're going to be huge. Um, this just gives you a little bit of a maneuverability. And these could be tabs, um, however you want, but you can add multiple buttons uh, that go to multiple pages within your dashboard. And you can have a lot of different dashboards, a lot of different pages. So um, hopefully this inspires you to get a little creative. And thank you for watching. Um, happy visualizing.